discuss what potential in Mexico, because these shale plays, the formations, the geologic formations that we're now, you know, ramping up in the United States, they don't stop at the pole. So there's a natural, fundamental natural gas question that Mexico will take on, and this is the fundamental question when it comes to energy diversification, is natural gas complementary or competition in terms of renewables? And I think these are, I don't think we have the answer to that. It depends on the number, it depends on the year, but just over 30% of income for the government comes from Pemex, the national oil company. Last year, 2011, Pemex paid taxes almost six times higher than what the other 100 most important companies, I shouldn't say other, what the 100 most important companies in the Mexican stock exchange paid. Last year, Pemex's tax bill for the Treasury Department in Mexico was $63.5 billion. Is that good or bad? Not good. This idea of discussing throughout the beginning of a campaign the issue of the role of the private sector, the idea that presidential campaigns openly talk about constitutional amendment for the oil sector in Mexico, I've seen it referred to as a eureka moment, breaking the taboo, all kinds of different ways of describing it. The point being that this is a big deal. This is a big change in Mexico. 